book of right, the book of Romans is about <clears throat> righteousness and God giving His righteousness to those who who need it. Mm-hmm. And the the case that the Holy Spirit builds is uh, is uh, twofold. He proves that both the the Jew and the Gentile are under the same condemnation, though there's was such a broad distinction between them. The Lord drew this line of distinction between Jew and Gentile. And then in the end, it all was to prove that they both needed the same righteousness. Amen. So he gave, he invested in the Jews. He, he sent them uh, prophets and he set judges over them and kings and he gave them a law and he gave them his, his word. He even uh, came, he drew near to them uh, on Mount Sinai. So he, he invested in the Jews what he didn't invest in any of the other nations. Amen. And then in the end, he conclude, the scripture hath concluded all under sin, that he ha- might have mercy on all. Amen. Now the reason he did this, uh, drawing this distinction between the two groups, was to prove that flesh is unacceptable. Whether it is, is flesh that he gave uh, all these advantages to, like he did the Jews, or flesh that he, that he kind of left off and did, yeah. did nothing with, being the Greeks or the, or the Gentiles. The issue is that flesh, no matter what flavor or what kind or uh, what matter, no matter what kind of flesh it is, flesh is unacceptable. They all must be born again. They all must be given imputed righteousness from God. And so what we have here in Brother Jeremy's text is a, is a list of advantages that the Jews could boast of that the Gentiles couldn't. And in fact, they were, they were advantages that were given by God. The Jews were made, it's like the list also that Paul gave in Philippians chapter 3. Brother, Brother Jeremy mentioned this, is that he was a, he was a Pharisee of the Pharisees, yeah. and he was, according to the law, he's found blameless. Mm-hmm. Um, he was uh, of the tribe of Benjamin. Mm-hmm. See, he, was, he, had, he had these religious claims. Paul was not saying, I'm smarter than the other guy, and I'm richer than the other guy, and I this and I that. He was not claiming advantages outside of religious advantages. That's what this text is about. It's about religious advantages. It's not about riches and intellect. Mm -hmm. So the assets and credentials listed here are um, are, uh, religious. And the Lord Lord did this in... He's drawing a line Mm -hmm. between these two people groups so that he can wipe the line away. So it's it's all... all, uh, part of the eternal purpose of God that he has uh, purposed within himself. Now, I want to I note the, the nature of these advantages in Brother Jeremy's text. Knowledge, truth, revelation, understanding, light, stewards, custodial custodians of what God had given, they were, in fact, a special people above all the people in the earth. Amen. God made them that way. Mm-hmm. Now, the, the problem that uh, Paul is, is referring to here is that they were trusting in the form. That's right. They had no substance mm-hmm. uh, in, their, in their claim. Religious pride makes one of the most terrible men mm-hmm. that the world has ever seen. Mm-hmm. It's religious pride. In fact, it was the religious pride that killed Jesus. It wasn't the Romans. Did not Pilate try to talk him out of it? That was like another testimony against them. Yes, yes. I see no cause of death in this man. And they ignored it. Religious pride makes the worst kind of man. Mm-hmm. And that's what, that's what we see uh, some of in this, in this text. Think about some of the things that were said by the Jews while Jesus was in the world. He says, have, have any of the rulers believed on him? You see the presumption yeah. was behind him. They just assumed that we, we can't be wrong. And you ought to be following us. Mm-hmm. That, was, that was kind of the sum, some of the same thing, some of the same condition that Paul's writing about here. Have any of the rulers believed? Or they also said, uh, these people who know not the law, they're, they're under a curse. Mm-hmm. Well, they, they knew, le- see, it was some of, the, uh, some of those people that, the, that they were referring to, they were the ones believing on Jesus. Yeah. But they concluded that they were, they were under a curse. Now, it is possible 
in this world for a doctor who is himself in very bad health to be a great advantage in assisting other people with their health. But this, is, this doesn't transpose to the spiritual. So their, their presumption in saying, we are a guide to the blind, no one who is in themselves in the darkness can be a guide to other people. A, gui a guide of the blind, here's, here's the exhortation. A guide of the blind is only and always one whose them, their own eyes have been opened. Yeah, that's right. There's someone who themselves can see afar off. Yeah. Like Peter talked, he actually talked about those who can't see afar off. But in saying that, he identified people who can see afar off. So a guide of the blind is someone who can see past the existence of this present world, who can see past the veil of flesh, who can see past uh, to the time when there will be no time. That's who is a guide of the blind. A light to those who are in darkness is one who themselves is walking in the light. He who walks in the light doesn't stumble. Yeah. And so those who are walking in the light, by virtue of them being in the light, they're a guide to them that are in darkness. Yeah. But Paul's in this text, he's talking about those who, who presumed they were a guide because of outward form that they had. In fact, faith knows nothing of presumption. There is, faith doesn't, it, 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 it's not, faith has no capacity to presume. Faith confesses, faith lays hold, faith knows nothing of presumption. But the, the Jews were like, they like let out in religious presumption. An instructor and a teacher is one who is himself being instructed and taught. That who is, see, you can, you're qualified to give to others what has been given to you. This is like a kingdom, kingdom rule. And so as, the, as what the Lord teaches you, then you're qualified to teach others. Where the Lord instructs you, then you're qualified then to, to instruct others. That's why Paul says we're able to comfort them with the comfort wherewith we ourselves have been comforted of God. Amen. Amen. So that's what you, what you possess, you can give, mm -hmm. and where you have gone, you can lead. See, this text is a rebuke. I'm, I'm sure you've caught on to this, is that they were, con they were professing or uh, presuming that they were guiding people in places where they themselves had not, had not gone. Mm -hmm. So salvation makes people useful. Yes, amen. The, the, th this is one way where we can, we can judge, judge ourselves. We have, to, we have to be versed and exercised in in, uh, in judging yourself. The scripture says if we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged. Mm -hmm. So in judging ourselves, we want to evaluate where, how much can the Lord use me? And to that degree, you're saved. Mm -hmm. That's what sal salvation makes people useful yeah. to, him, to the Lord in what he is doing. So I'll leave you with this, then we'll open for your uh, comments. Never are you so helpful to men than the degree that you are drawing close to the Lord. Amen. That's what makes you helpful. That's what makes you valuable and useful to other people. Amen. It, not, only, not only brethren, I mean men, in particularly brethren, mm -hmm. but men in general. The closer a person is to the Lord, the more, more helpful and more advantageous you are to other people. It's like a, in the, the shape of a pyramid. The closer you draw to the top of the pyramid, the closer, the closer we are to one another. If, if at the, you know, picturing the, like the mount of the Lord. As we're ascending the mount of the Lord, the closer we are to the top where the Lord is, then the closer we are to one another. And so ministering, <clears throat> there's an indirect nature to ministry. In other words, if you want to do good to your fellow men, your, your attention and your focus can't be on the people you want to help. As, it, as it's focused and set on the Lord is when you, you're, you become able and qualified to minister, minister to people. Amen. We'll open now to any, any comments.